we are here guys to meet the original inhabitants of South Palawan. We call them Palawan tribe. So in mainland Palawan, actually we are composed of three major tribes. So first, we have Batak tribe from the north of Puerto Princesa City. Second, we have Tagbanwa tribe, but they are from central to north Palawan. Scattered yung mga Tagbanwa tribe. And lastly, we have the Palawan tribe. They are from the southern Palawan. If you heard about the history of Tabon Man or Cave Man, they are the possible descendants. So, ma'am, sir, since 1976, this village became their temporary home or shelter. Different families of Palau and tribe used to come and visit here. And now, we have third and fourth generation na po who had been participating in our livelihood program. So, everyone, this is a livelihood program wherein we are able to encourage them to continue to practice their cultures and traditions because their cultures and traditions are now slowly disappearing and that's because of life's modernization so here we are able to keep their culture alive by sharing that to the local and foreign guests so it's not a show we call this cultural sharing some of them stays only for a few weeks or months and others are only for a few days after that they will go back in the mountain it's about 200 kilometers away when they go back in the mountain another group or family will go down to continue to share their culture and to bring handmade products. So yung ibang handmade products ay gawa nila. We call them Palauan and it's the same with the dialect that they use. It's called Palauan also. Their dialect is different to our local dialect in Palauan. Pabiri, bagtik, dua. So he will show you something. Pakihawak po and pass at the back. Okay, so that one is one of their traditional products. They call that bagtik. That is a sap or a resin dagta siya ng puno it came from almasiga tree it's a huge tree that grows only in higher elevation at first po that sap was a sticky liquid and then it became solid after weeks or months so if it's already solid that's the perfect time to harvest and sell in the lowland so bakit nila dinadala dito sa atin that's the main ingredient of making our nail polish paints varnish fiberglass and other related products and that's also flammable so nakikinabang din tayo sa product ng tribe ito po lang makikita pag kulang at magkikita tayo okay and then they have their own bag which is called bakid they use this one to carry products from up to down in the mountain if it's already full they simply tie it up so the products won't fall ako po minan pang mabuka tato na po if it's heavy, no problem. They have head support to carry more weight. So the adults like him can carry 30 up to 50 kilos up to down in the mountain. And they do like that, yung nakahang po doon sa bag, uh, bahay na yon. That's how they put products inside of the bag. And ma'am sir, Palawan tribesmen are also music lover. So they have musical instruments. Ito po, it's their native drum that they call gimbal. This gimbal is made of wood and they carve this in Nila. On top, they covered animal skin. So it's a cow skin on top. Yeah, aside from that gimbal, they also have gong or agong, and then the two smaller are sanang. Those metals are now hundreds years old, handed down by their great great grandfather. Those are the proof of trading of their ancestors in other part of Asia since time immemorial. So now they're going to play those instruments together, and they call that basal. and children in their tribe. They also dance with the beat of that music. But here po, they don't dance to entertain guests because tribal dances are rituals which mean sacred. So they dance only whenever they have ritual event. So pwede silang sumayaw pag may mga prayers, wedding, or good harvest. And then they have their own guitar. So ma'am sir, before the arrival of modern guitars, they already have two strings, native one, and that's considered as one of the first guitars in the Philippines. Okay, 
Okay, that's their Kujapi. And most of their musics are about nature. Just like that music, they played, uh, they called that Bogit. Pag sinabing Bogit, when we say Bogit, it means bird song. And ma'am sir, they have another type of yeah. musical instrument. They have this one. As you can see, it's very simple, but they can create an amazing sound using this musical instrument. They call this Aruding, and they play this through vibration using their mouth. So, it's made of wild palm with beeswax as the adjuster of sound. Okay, that's how to play their aruding. And we are now in the last part. So for the last part, they will show us their skills in hunting because Pal Palawan tribesmen are hunter gatherer din po. Back in the mountain, there's also food are more on planting like root crops and then they hunt animals. So they have their own hunting tools. So they have their own spears. Ito po yung mga sibat nila. That one is ligid and this is surayang. So this surayang, it looks like harpoon but it's not for fishing. They use this one to hunt bigger animals like yung mga wild boar. And then if they have a target, they throw it from a distance. If they hit the target, this metal will stuck because of the hook. And then it will separate to the handle. So this handle serves as an anchor. There's a big possibility that it will hang on the bushes and then the target can no longer escape. So if it's already trapped, that's the time yeah, that they use the other time. spear. So this is to trap, the other one is to follow up or to finish the target. And then they also hunt birds and squirrel in the mountain as part of their diet. So moms are in their tribe, they have their own way to attract the birds and to attract squirrel as well. Pabirina. Yeah, so they copy the sounds of birds using a piece of bamboo. And then, if the target is visible, they also prepare their blow darts or blow pipe to shoot that target. In their tribe po, they are not using bow and arrow. Hindi sila gumagamit ng pana. But they have those blow darts or blow gun. They call that sapukan or sumpit in other words. And now, everybody, let's look at the drawing. So that will be the target. <laughs> Okay, that's how to use it. So they can hit farther than that, but it depends on how strong they blow. And whenever they shoot bigger animals, like mga wild boar, kapag malalaking hayop, they are putting deadly poison on every tip of the darts to kill the target. And the poison is came from plants. This plant, this is the main ingredient, they call that dita. So they just collect the sap, opo, yung uh, hinahalo nila sa lason. They collect the juice of that plant, they mix it with other plants and cook it together in a slow fire to make it effective. And that poison is so powerful because in few minutes, it can kill the target. But then, after killing the target, they wash it immediately with running water and then they cook it so they can safely eat the meat. Inside the frame are the real darts with poison. And that's dangerous for human because until now, there is no antidote for that. So according to them, if accidentally they hit someone, say goodbye. And no antidote for that. And here, of course, we need to balance their hunting because our hunting ground is not rich anymore. So we encourage them that they can buy foods in our nearby market. Kasi po, we need to uh, protect the wildlife since we have a lot of endangered animals also. And moms are dito, they can earn money to buy their needs or wants because they have a good share in this livelihood program. So thank you guys for visiting us. Whatever donations they have sa entrance fee nyo pa lang, you are already helping them. As well as if the guests purchase pictures and products they have shared so they can buy their needs or wants, especially foods. And this will be the last one now. Okay, he will show us their way of making fire. Pagawa ng apoy. So they have these materials. They have a flint stone. It's a special stone that can be found around their village. And they have their own steel that they call balan. And they have their native cotton. Okay. Lob lob is cotton. Wow. Alright, so now the smoke is visible and then he will use dry grasses or dry leaves to create bigger fire. So ganyan sila magpapoy. 
And even though we have matches or lighters nowadays, we are still encouraging them to use their own way kapag nandito sila. And back in the mountain, they are still prefer to use that way because malayo sila sa tindahan. Malayo yung bilhan ng mga phosphor or lighter. So that process, ma'am, sir, is called santikan. The word santik means to strike or it's through friction. And now you can see the fire. So ito pong hawak niya. So the one that he's holding, those are the torch or the light of the tribe back in the mountain. According to them, one foot of their torch can last three to five nights, but it depends on how long they use during night. And then, it's not only a torch, hindi lang siya ilaw. They believe that the, the smoke of that can drive away bad luck or bad spirit. They also use the smoke to cure illnesses like headache, stomach ache, and it can be used also to drive away mosquito. It it smells like incense. Alam niyo po yung incense, oh. Ayan. Incense is the common thing that some people are using in religious activities. So, parang incense siya. Yeah, mabango po yan. Yeah, in other, um, sa kanilang tribe po, yung dagta na to, it came from wild pili tree, but in other province ay galing sa pine tree. It's called salong or sahing. Inside of that torch is a resin and covered with leaves. So, dagta siya ng puno na binalot. Okay, ma'am, sir, if you want to know how it all started, we have more information at the back. You can drop by in our shops to check the products if you want to see some souvenirs. Dito po we have shop and back in the garden, we have more Palawan souvenirs and delicacies there. If you are a coffee lover, you must try Sibet Coffee, guys. That's one of the best coffee in town. And our photographers are from the members of the tribe. Uh, what they're going to do is to take some free shot. The copy of picture is optional. However, if you purchase that po, you can access soft copy and they have a share. So, free shot lang siya. Depende sa inyo mamaya kung kukunin niyo po yung copy doon sa exit. And then may share sila doon. And they have a snake also. You can hold and take picture with that by family. So, if you want to give donation, they have a box. And the way to say thank you is mag-sukor. Okay, so unahin po natin si... Uh, yung group nyo, mamilan kayo? Nine. Uh, yung nine po, uh, lahat po tayo doon sa bahay. Uh, you will be taking a group picture with them and with a snake. Size snake ma. Hindi ma, person na lang po. Okay, tingin po dito ma. Maki one to three. Maki one more. Okay. 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 Okay.